Hey, what's up, guys? Peace, peace. It's Crow Metaphor. All right, video three. We're going to get right into it, and we're going to start finishing off that song that we created video two in, what we created last time. Um, let me just push play, remind you what we were working on. It was all rhythm section. Uh, we recorded the guitar live, and we just did it through the interface, recorded it into the program, and I'll show you that again real quickly. So, here are my waves, and let's just play that by itself real quick. Okay, really dry. I'm not loving it yet, but I think I could fall in love with it later, if at all. Maybe I want to scrap the idea. You never know. Um, okay, so we did the rhythm section. I'm going to go ahead and play... The, just the rhythm section. Real break beaty. Strong, strong break beat. Hip hop stuff. Okay? All right, so we got those two things out of the way and the foundation is there. So the rhythm section is always the foundation. That's the heartbeat. That's gonna give you everything you need to feel the song and you know what direction that song is going in. Right now, we wanna add some some ear candy, if you will. We want to add some stuff that really attracts you to the music. And I took the liberty of adding some instruments that I think I like enough to keep. Um, we have keys, and this is what we're going to work on right now. So this is a sound effect that just plays the triads or the chords of whatever key you need. So if you look over here in my controller, I can go to keyboard mode, and I can see all my notation. Now these are just single notes, but like I said, this effect is playing triad chords. And it might even just be arpeggios, meaning it's going So let me show you, it's playing like three notes, one after the other. So here, let me play this note here. Okay. Yo, this is what it will look like in GarageBand for you. And you obviously have different octaves. So you have this guy. All right, so that's still in E. That's an E note or an E chord is what it's playing, okay? Okay, so I like those. I'm gonna lay it live, just like I did the last tracks. And then after that, I'm gonna MIDI synchronize it. So I'm gonna throw it in here in the program using the MIDI function. So I'll show you how that looks in a second. But right now, let me just push play and make sure I like those notes. And we're gonna wait for that one, okay? Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so simple. I think I like it, but rather than hitting it on the one and keeping it on the downbeat, let's try an upbeat. So do you remember those eighth notes we were talking about? One and two and three and four and. When you say and, that's your upbeat. And I think this piano is gonna sit prettier on the upbeat, on the and. So it'd be something like this. One and, rather than one, two, three, four, one, two. We wanna do the and or the upbeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. I actually touched that other pad a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so let me try it again. I'm gonna try to lay it. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two. I think you could dig that. I think you could feel that. Hopefully it sounds good through whatever you're watching me on. Um, let me just show you what it looks like here as MIDI notes. So we're about where we need to be. If I wanted everything 
on the one, it would be on this main beat or this main line right here. So that's beat one. Like I said, we're doing it on the upbeat, on the end. So it's a little off of that dark line, okay? So let me just push play, show you what it looks like with the MIDI. Try again. Okay. So I'm gonna try to lay it again, and this first one here, I'm gonna give it a little more space. <clears throat> just a little more, I think it's a little rushed. It needs a little more time. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna do an upbeat, but we're gonna do it later in the progression, later in the measure. We're not gonna do it so early. So let me delete all this. Let's try again. Oh, I touched the wrong one. Goodness gracious. Try again. One, two, three, four. One. All feel, all feel. Okay, so I think that's better. I'm still on an upbeat, but now if you look, this is beat two, and I'm right here in between, which is the end or the upbeat on beat two. Okay, move this guy over a little bit. Make it a little more precise. And that feels good. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. All right, so now let's go ahead and move to a harmony. So we got percussion and we got bass. We have a melody and now we need another melody to create some kind of harmony. And for that, I'm gonna choose a harp. And you're probably wondering why a harp? That's an interesting choice. And to tell you the truth, it just works. Harp's a beautiful instrument, it sounds pretty. So let's check out my harp, shall we? Here is my harp on my E, uh, e channel, I guess you can call it. Um, here it is. Right? Okay, so let's just play with that and let me see if I can come up with a harmony on top. The whole time I just want to lock into that groove and make sure I know where to start, right? Okay, so I hit a sour note. I'm not recording, but I just want to experiment with how it sounds. So when you're doing this at home on whatever program, it's experimentation more than anything. You just want to make sure that what you're playing sounds good. If you're beginners and you're watching me right now, you probably don't know any music theory. You probably don't know how any of the music theory works, how scales work, how chord progressions work, how key signatures work. So what do you have to trust? The things that we are all blessed to have, which are our ears, okay? So you gotta trust your ears and you really gotta listen to what sounds good. It's also taste. I think a harp sounds great. Some of you at home are probably like, mm, I don't know about that harp. I don't know about that harp, but I think it works. So I'm gonna try to lay it and let me see if I can lay it correctly. I'm gonna go with something like this. All right, something like that. Um, and something, yeah, yeah, and we'll fiddle around with it. So let's try it, here we go. And this one, it's, it's not gonna be possible to count. My brain isn't that good. I can't really count and play at the same time. Let's see if I could try. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's hard, it's tricky, it's tricky. So, I need to get a little better at that, but let me just lay it. Two, three, four. Okay, let me try again, I think I know where I wanna start. Two, three, four, one. I think that'll work. Now, I think you guys got to see me doing all that notation in real time. So all of these MIDI notes here, they all appeared as you saw them. So let me play it, make sure I like it. I can 
dig that, yeah. Okay, so we got the rhythm section, we have the melody, and then we got another melody creating the harmony. Um, I'm pretty much done with this beat, and I think this episode's running short, so I still want to get back to that guitar and try to make an interesting little intro if possible. What I'll do now is I'm going to just put some percussion on top. So I have the drums doing something, right? But I want a little extra something to give me a little more energy or just to catch the listener. And right now I have this little, it's like a shaker. That's all it is. And I'll boost it up a little more so you can hear it. Okay, but I want to take them down so it's quiet. We don't want that overpowering the drums or anything else. Okay, so real quickly, I'm just going to lay this and throw it in the mix. So let me just play around with some rhythm. Okay, so I like that rhythm. Another rhythm that I could be doing is a rhythm that the machine does for me. So people like to use machines, that's okay, but you could go ahead and put on note repeat. It's on 16th notes, okay? So you could also do that. Or play it by hand. Or with a machine. All preference. So let me just lay the first one I liked, and I'll, I'll lay both of them for fun. Why not? All right, that's cool. It's not bad. And then I'll lay the 16 ones just for fun. Try that again. Okay. I didn't like that take too much, but you get the idea. I would keep the first one if anything. An upbeat thing again. If I wanted to, like I showed you guys prior, I can go ahead and change my velocity and I can also quantize. So here's my velocity. If I want to take it down more. Oops. If I want to take it down more. Okay. Or if I want to just quantize it and put it on the grid, on the beats or the intervals as much as. Hey guys, by the way, this is what it will look like in GarageBand. Check this out, this is what it will look like in Soundation. As much as I can, perfectly. Okay. All right, so let's get to an intro and let's go ahead and work with that guitar and try to make something out of that guitar because I know you guys are like, totally different vibe. The guitar is just different, right? So what I'm going to do is on machine, I'm going to add a different scene, okay? It's basically just a different track. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and play the guitar. Just the guitar. Okay. Now, first and foremost, before I try to do anything else, I need to make that guitar sound better. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use this effect 
called an echo, okay? And an echo is just another word for delay, which is also a reverb. They're all kind of in the same family and they all kind of do the same thing, meaning they give you an echo, a delay. So for example, if I did it with my voice, hey, how's it going, 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 going. What's going on, 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 right? So that's like a delay, an echo. I think if I add that with this guitar, it's gonna give it more flavor. It's gonna give it more dimension. It won't be so flat, because it's pretty flat. Okay, so if you look at machine here, I'm gonna open up a plugin, and we can get into this in the later videos, but this is an echo, okay? So this is something that will just give you that that delay, that echo. So I'm just gonna turn it on. Uh, I think I played with an effect. I played with some of the mix knobs and the echo time a little bit, but it's pretty much preset. So here we go, let me listen to it now. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me boost the guitar just a little bit. Can you hear that delay? Now let me just go ahead and add more just to show you. This might be too much. Okay, I think that's good. Um, I just need a little something. We're not gonna get too crazy with this beat because I only have so much time, but I need a little something to make that guitar sing a little more. So to me, that sounds okay. I'm gonna turn it off. Turn it on. Now, if you can't hear that, you need to go turn up your speakers a little more, okay? That's cool, that's cool with me right there. I'm gonna keep that. And now I wanna get out there. I wanna take you guys to a different place and I want you guys to understand that music isn't all about instruments and it's not all about keyboards and bass and whatever else, drums. It's about frequency and it's about everything that you can hear with your ears, okay? So with that said, for this little intro that I'm thinking, I think it'll be a cool idea to put on some highway noise. Yeah, you heard me right, some highway noise. So some of you probably hate it. Some of you probably live right next to the freeway, right next to the highway, and you hear traffic all the time. I don't necessarily love it, but I think for this intro, it can give it a cool flavor. It can give it a cool texture. And then we could hit into that main groove, right? And then we could hit into this guy right here. Try that again. Okay, so you get the idea. So let me go back and let me just push the, so this is the sample before I do that. This is the sample, that's the entire sample there. It's super long, we're not gonna use all of that. We're just gonna use a segment of it. And let me show you what it does. Let's turn it down a little bit, we're at Unity. Right? So you got some ambience. Okay? So, that's cool. I like that. I think it's cool. Let's play it over the guitar and just see what it sounds like. One sec. Okay. So, that's it. That's all I need. I think that's cool. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to do. Hopefully it makes sense to you. And if it doesn't, oh well, because it's my taste, right? Everybody has different tastes and everybody likes different things. And this is just for those beginners. Explore a little bit. See what you can do differently. See what makes you different from everybody else, 
Okay, so I'm going to lay that real quick and I'm just going to simply hold it down and let it record. And I'll stop around eight measures. We're entering the fifth. Actually, you know what? Let's do 12. Entering the ninth. So we got the intro, we have the guitar, and we have the highway noise. On top of that, I want to just go ahead and put maybe two more things. Um, let me just throw some brass in there. So let me throw some horns, and maybe I can get that kind of urban jazz vibe in there. Um, in my head, I hear, well, in my mind, I kind of see just a guy hanging out by the subway or by the highway and he's just playing a horn. So let me show you this horn real quick. Okay, so once again, that's something that's already pre-made. I didn't play the horn as much as I need to practice my horn chops a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is give it just a little more texture, a little more flavor, and I'm gonna add another effect on it. And it's basically another delay, another reverb so if you hear it it like triples up quadruples up even right okay so let's throw that in the mix wait for that moment to bring it in Okay? So you get the idea. It just kind of gives it that vibe. It's kind of setting the mood a little bit. So let me record it. Let that guitar play one time through. It's perfectly on that car horn. Bam, just like I said, we ended on 12 measures, okay? I let four measures breathe, so I let that guitar and just the traffic noise kind of sit in, and now we got something. All right, I'm gonna add just a little more percussion in here. So just for the intro, I wanna go ahead and add a little, a little something. So if you listen to this percussion, okay, you hear that guy? All right, so I'm gonna actually take him over to where my brass is. I'm gonna copy him and bring him over to the brass so he can have that same effect because sometimes delay is just magic and sometimes we can't get enough of it. Try again. Copy it, bring it over, paste it. And now it's in here and I should hear that effect. Okay. Make sure I'm on the right note. Okay, we're gonna try a C. So that frequency is in the key of C, okay? So let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna record it. I don't know if I love it, but I'll keep it. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. So now, there's a lot more I could do to it if I wanted to. And 
I could even probably get rid of some things if I wanted to. I'm not in love with all of it. I'm just trying to create something that I hope translates and I hope it shows you guys what's cap what you're capable of, okay? And in the, in the later videos, we'll do something on a program that you can really understand, okay? Now, before I go, I wanna go ahead and I wanna take this intro and I wanna throw it so it plays and then I wanna go ahead and take the main, the main meat and potatoes of the beat and play it after the intro, okay? So what I'm doing here in Machine is I'm just putting everything in its place, all right? Now, if I push play from here, it's gonna go, and it's gonna sound bad, but it's gonna go from the intro to the, the verse, if you will. And it's not hearing anything yet. Okay. All right, so now, let me make sure that that guitar cuts off where I need it to. Should be. Oh, I know what the problem is. Okay, so my guitar is accidentally in the meat and potatoes of the song. We don't need that, so I'm gonna turn that off right there. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. All right, so here we go. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna run it forward a little bit. Actually, I might mess it up and just, just hang out. Totally hear, you know, Nas, Guru, Rakim, just vibing with that right there, just using their voice. And then I'm gonna bring in, right? All right, so now that I have everything set up and I have the intro where it needs to be and I have the verse where it needs to be, the next step would be how do you introduce the verse, right? How do you drop the beat? And all I would do, and I'm getting short on time here, so I gotta just wrap it up, but all I would do would be record what's called a riser. Okay, now that's not the perfect riser. I wish I could have something else, but I just picked it real quick. So without further ado, guys, thank you for letting me in your home. I'm just gonna play the beat. Sorry about the drop. I know the drop doesn't have enough bite and it doesn't have enough oomph, but that's for the next videos. So for now, have a good one. Take it easy. My name's Chromatophore, and peace. <laughs>